Okay. All right. Yeah. So, what a pack, didn't I? Mm -hmm. A deck. Mm -hmm. A deck. Yeah. Because my old decks were shitty, and I'm like, is this it's... recording? Yeah. It's recording. No way. Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. I don't even see the mic. Ah, fuck you, PC Tools Registry, bitch. Where's the yeah, mic? Yeah, it's in. It like hiding. It's internal in the computer. It's. My computer's not a piece of shit like Oh, it no, you didn't get your new mic yet, did you? No, I didn't. Okay. That's coming. For some reason, I ordered that. At, like, it was supposed to be here by Christmas, but whatever. So you um, don't have to, like, duct tape a microphone to your face? No, that's only you. Oh, okay. He broke his computer because he's a stupid person. So, yeah. Open pack. Explosive edge. Okay. Ooh, so... You get that orb thing? Yeah. I get an energy search. So it's a trainer card that lets me search my deck for energy cards. It's also an item. Yes, which means it's not a supporter, so you can play as many as you want per turn. But you knew that, because you know how to play this game, sort of. <laughs> yeah. It's not as yeah, good as me. Do. Not as good as me. Pokemon Communication. It's a good one. I didn't have any of these, and I really need some, because they're pretty good, and they've been printed a ton of times. But it looks like that Pokemon in there may also be a Lugie. It does not appear to be a Lugie to it me. It looks kind of like... Undated. It doesn't actually look like a Pokemon, but... Um, it looks like maybe there's one stacked on top of it. Yeah, one. maybe. I don't know. In the picture there, I don't I don't know what that is. Potion. Uh, I have eight of these. Eight? I didn't get eight. I had oh, wow. six, so That's I got two. Uh, I got some energy. Yeah. Energon. Twelve energy. Transformer. Down. Six, uh, six of these. Actually, hold on before we go. So yeah, I'm gonna add two of these to the deck, just to, you know, wait, actually, hold on, um, save to deck box, actually, oh, use the I'll do this later, oh, fine. yeah, so we saw energy search and uh, pcom and potion and energy. And Charon. I only got one of these. I already had one. Draw three cards. Is her name Charon? His name is Charon. Yeah, I draw oh. three cards. He's like Bill, but better. But still not that amazing, but pretty good. Growlithe times two. Because Growlithe are amazing. Uh, but Bill can turn into a Slowpoke. I'm fairly sure. I thought it was a Rattata. Maybe. He turns himself into a Pokemon, though. He does, so, which is amazing. Which I wish is I could do that. Than Sharon. Yeah, that's true. For the record. He, yeah, no, you're right. That is that is much better. Mm -hmm. Then here's Growlithe, who's a champ. This is um Combustion Growlithe. 80 HP, which is pretty solid for basic that can evolve. And Combustion, 2 mana, 20. Not amazing. Not bad. Uh, Arcanine, 120 HP. Stage 1. Um, Crunch, uh, Red and White, 30. Flip a coin. If heads, discard an energy attached to their defending Pokemon. What I like about this guy is there's no negative yeah. impacts like most fire types have. Yeah, he doesn't have any discard like a lot of fire types do. Yeah. Uh, the other Arcanine in the set does, but the other Arcanine in the set's also amazing, so if I end up with any of them ever, I'm gonna put them in this deck. Also, the other Arcanine that I got in the basic red deck can do like 90 or something ridiculous without having to discard. Wow. So, Arcanines are amazing and I play them in the game and they're probably one of my favorite Pokemon, because mm -hmm. Arcanines are uh, awesome. They're just mm -hmm. like, yeah. William Blake wrote a poem about Arcanine, and he didn't really, but it's applicable. Mm. Um, Panseer, times two, flare for 30, whatever. Not amazing. No, look at him, he's like a, a mini apple guy. Yeah. Um, more, two of these, hammering for 20. I don't think this deck, I'm, I don't think it comes with either of their evolved forms, which is kind of mm. useless. Okay. Um, yeah, candle, Litwick, flare 10. Uh, this one can evolve I'm into like Lampant. Only have two of these, but 80 HP, Ember for 40, and flip a coin if Tails discard an energy attached to this Pokemon, which is, I think, the basic red, um, or the Vulpix from the basic red deck has that attack, mm -hmm. except it only does like 20 or something, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like him because it's the basic form. Can come out immediately and start attacking first turn. Yeah, that's true. And then start evolving. Then he can go second turn, and then he evolves into not Rush around. Well. That's debatable. I'd say <laughs> that the origins of Reshiram is candles. Anyway, yeah, no, Reshiram. One of the coolest Pokemon ever. He's got Blue Flare, Blue mm -hmm. Flame Hellions. Line him up. That's all you gotta he's do. Got Line him up. As well. Also, he's clearly better than Zekrom. Clearly. Bad. That's pretty debatable. Because if you look at Reshiram, 
blue eyes. If you look at Zekrom, he's got red eyes. You're just going to have to take my word for that one. Mm. Uh, he, he, and Reshiram white, Zekrom black. So who's better? Blue eyes white dragon, red eyes black dragon. That's what I thought. Mm. All right, you win this round. Yeah, I win this round and all the other rounds. Mm-hmm. Uh, Basculin. I have a different print of Basculin. Uh, one mana bite for ten, or a blue mana bared fangs for forty. So does that card include all of the fish, or just that individual fish? There <sighs> seem to be much more than one. There are a lot of fish in there. I think it's. I think it's just the blue one. The other red ones, I don't think count. Mm-hmm. Nah, because they have red eyes. Exactly. And as we just covered, blue eyes is better than red eyes. Apparently. Especially if it's a blue eyes white versus a red eyes black. Mm. And that's that's common knowledge. Well, except for the other one has lightning, which is, like, it's what Zeus has. And Zeus is clearly better than... Yeah, but I mean... Hades. Jesus invented the flamethrower. Well... So... Fine. <laughs> yeah. Fine. It's, 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 look it up, people. Yeah, so, uh, blue mana, bared fangs, 40. Um, if, before this Pokemon does damage, the defending Pokemon has no damage counters on it, this attack does nothing. Which means, you can't just lead straight in with a bared fangs. This guy either has to come in after someone else, or hit with a bite first. He's a nice, nice, um, guy to have on your deck, though, because you don't necessarily have to be building him up. Exactly, yeah. got another one out there. You can throw one mana on this guy, and he can do some damage, so, he's Mm -hmm. not bad. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, Vanillite, he's ice cream, so that's yeah, the thing. He's ice cream. At least uh, he's not trash. Yeah, I mean. that's true. That is true. I mean, there's there's been some debate over the new Pokemon, and uh, in my opinion, a lot of them are kind of lame. There's mm. so many other directions Nintendo could have gone, like wolves or dolphins instead of ice cream and trash and gears. Mm-hmm. Although, to be fair, they did make magnets in the first gen, and no one's dissing on them. They did, they did. I mean, so, now that it's first gen, it's kind of considered sacred, so you can't really. That's true. I don't really mean. Do anything. No, I'm, I'm not dissing Magnemite or Magnum. If you were to eat any Pokemon, I think I would probably choose this one. Yeah. Because eating any of the other ones would make me feel bad about eating something that's alive, but that doesn't really look like Actually, it if you look alive. in the picture, she's, she's selling ice cream to people. That's horrible. <laughs> Although. Like cannibalism. No, because I don't, I don't think it's these guys. I think these guys just freeze cream. It's probably like Moo Moo Milk, because Moo Moo Milk is delicious. It's mm-hmm. the deliciousest milk in the Pokemon world. Mm-hmm. So Well, you know, you could get I think from Long Long Ranch as well. but Yeah, but that, the, is that be, as good as Moo Moo Milk? I may be confusing my games here. I don't think so. You don't I, think th- so? I think you're solidly. All right, all right yeah. we're good. Uh, vanillish. So he's just a bigger ice cream cone. Yeah, because no one likes little ice cream cones. You don't yeah. go to DQ, you're like, I'll take a single scoop, and then you eat it in one bite and don't, and just, like, leave? No. Mm. Uh, icy snow, icy wind, flip a coin, if heads of defending Pokemon's asleep, that's not bad. Mm. Uh, this guy's still not super good, unless you have the stage two. Mm. And I, I do wish that he had, like, a, a two mana attack instead of icy snow, because usually by the time you're evolved, that's you're true. ready to add another mana. That's true. Uh, Cub Chew. I got two of these. They're a little bit... I kind of like these guys. Mm-hmm. I do. Uh, it's, it's a sneezy bear. I don't want it sneezing in my Coke, but then again, I wouldn't mind that much. Mm, probably not. You'd because be right. if this guy wanted to sell me some Coca-Cola, I'd be hella into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sniffle. During your next turn, this Pokemon... It, this Pokemon's belt attack's base damage is 40. Okay... So this guy's pretty chill. You're it's like, like a future investment. First time you do sniffle, first turn you do sniffle, and then you belt for twenty, which is actually forty. Yeah. So or yeah, you belt for forty. After that, it doesn't really matter because hopefully you're evolving him. Yeah. I do think this one. Yeah, bear tick. There he is. Ooh, he looks cool. He's got a spiky beard thing. Yeah. Is he a spider? No, he's a bear. Oh. I was he... looking at it from a different direction. He's, he's a bear, man. He's a bear. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, kind of like a spider, kind of, but bigger are... and furrier and only have four legs. <laughs> well, and eat people. You know, some spiders are kind of furry. It's true. They usually have more. Legs, some of, so. y- usually the furry ones are the people eaters too. I mean, I have mm-hmm. watched the Lord of the Rings movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so you can daunt for forty, and during your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by forty. So that's not bad. Uh, an ambush, which is three mana. So I mean. 
first turn you can daunt with cub chu second turn you can belt with cub chu for 40 mm -hmm. and... or hell you can evolve into this guy and daunt for 40 anyway so mm -hmm. i mean if you have this guy in your hand there's not really any downside to evolving that turn um but then if you do if you don't happen to have him that turn you can uh use uh Cub Chew, and then you can Daw Thingy, and then you can Belt for 40, and then mm -hmm. you can Ambush the next turn. And for a possible 90. For a possible 90. That is very nice. That's amazing. Uh, weaknesses are to Steal, which is not super common in this no. current meta game, or any meta game, because it's not that amazing. And we have a classic. Yeah, Meowth representing. Uh, flip two coins. This attack does ten damage times the number of heads. That is amazing, Meowth. I I congratulate that. That's super powerful. I hate that because my coin tosses never go as planned. Dude, it's just I like how it maxes at twenty. I mean, it's a max of twenty. Yeah, uh, and then if for another mana, you can just always hit twenty. So that that's mm. this guy's a powerhouse. Potential for a good opening though potential for a yeah really good opening. for an okay opening i mean audino can, has the potential to open with 40 it does it yeah does. nasty plot on the persian though uh search your deck for a card and put it in your hand just just do it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like seriously that's it's like just why the hell not just stick something in your hand it's fine it's fine so that's the thing uh Shadow Claw for 30. Flip a coin. If heads, discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Ooh, that's pretty good. Hold on. Um, seal on. He's three times an energy search. So that's good, but he's a supporter. Heavy Ball. Search your deck for... You can read this. I gotta go oh. for a second. Yeah. I'm <laughs> being handed off. Oh, and we're back over here, maybe. Click on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that was my parents. Did you even do anything? Yeah, I lost the heavy ball and then I brought it back up. Okay, good. As long as you weren't just sitting there with like dead air for No, there long. should be some noise. I tried to add in some background noise. Like could some, couldn't just noise. read? Mm. Have you, did you not learn to read in school? I learned once. Fucking juniors. They're like, yeah, we're not seniors yet, so we didn't learn how to read. Yeah, except I'm a junior in college. Not a junior in college. You're a junior in high school. I don't know that. They do you now. Can't see me. Do you want me to show you him? I'll just go to, like, the redeem code, and it'll activate the webcam, and I'll show you Ginger here. He's a ginger, if you didn't guess by the name. You can't do that. Why? I'd like to remain anonymous. Ginger wants to remain anonymous, which I guess is fair, considering you don't know his real name, which isn't actually Ginger. His parents aren't that much of dicks. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, Heavy Bar. Search your deck for a Pokemon with retreat cost three or more. Reveal it and put it in your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. It's not stellar. But... However, yeah, the ball appears to be made of lead, which is fitting, as it's a Heavy Ball. That's true. So maybe you... Uh... You just throw. I mean, if you're not like, I mean, you could probably use it as a weapon in itself. Well, yeah, like when you throw balls at Pokemon, trainers already have they just bounce off. But if it's made of lead, I mean, it's, it's gonna not, hurt. It's gonna hit pretty. Hard. Yeah, it might knock out that Pokemon. It might just in that just the Pokeball itself. I should try that sometime. Mm -hmm. Sky Arrow Bridge. The retreat cost of each basic Pokemon in play is one less, which is um. Is that one pretty good? Is that a white mana? Yeah, because all retreat costs are always in white oh, mana. It looks like a white mana. Yeah, it's, it's like the star mm -hmm. of white mana. So that's pretty cool and stuff. Uh, then Chandelure. I think this is the last one in the deck. Yeah, Remember when was I was... A long time ago. Yeah, I was talking about Lampet, and I'm like, and then he evolves into not Reshiram. Remember that? That was... Then he evolves into was... this guy who looks remotely like a, a pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Like a purple pumpkin. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so basically, this guy has Flame Burst for one mana, which does 30 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon, and 30 to the one in play, so that's a hell of a lot of damage. It is indeed. And then Inferno for two, which, uh, deals 80, 
and then you discard all energy attached to this Pokemon, and it burns the defending Pokemon. There's a good chance that you could just kind of bring this guy in and start to dominate. Yeah. Even though it'd be difficult. It'd be difficult. Yeah. Well, it's not not easy. If you had a Typhlosion in there, one of the special ones. Yeah, Typhi Prime. You could start popping Infernos every, every turn. Every turn. Just yeah. popping an Inferno. And then you would start just burning through their deck. Pretty quick, yeah. And you only mm -hmm. need six kills. Mm -hmm. 80 is not enough to kill a lot of guys. Although, I think if you hit an Inferno, even without a Typhi Prime, if you go Inferno and then Flame Burst and alternate between the two, you do some damage pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And then once you're, once you're popping a few Flame Bursts, their bench Pokemon is starting to yeah. take some serious damage. And if they come in, you can pop yeah. an Inferno and they're pretty much out, even if they are some kind of a Rush Ram. Yeah, so that's good. Mm hmm. That's what's nice about Flame Burst. It gives them some awkward decisions. Because, I mean, eventually those benched Pokemon are just going to die from getting the collateral off of Flame mm -hmm. Burst anyway. But if they go in, they're going to die quicker to an Inferno. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a Feraligator sweep. Yeah. Just sweep the entire bench and win the game just off Feraligator. Yeah. You did that once, didn't you? You were playing the basic mm -hmm. blue deck. And it has a Feraligator in it whose attack does, what, 30 damage to all Pokemon on your po your opponent has, including Benched? Mm -hmm. And he knocked out six Pokemon in one turn. There, there's an achievement for yeah, it. Yeah, he got an achievable for yeah, it. It's, I, it's pretty cool. I have yet to get that one. Consequently, when you get that achievement, you also get all of the ones previous to that. So. Yeah. I, th I think I have up to, like, three. Um, I'm going to go look at Reshiram while we talk. So they're okay. not staring at a blank screen. Actually, mm -hmm. no. Um, it's not that way. The arrows go the wrong direction, which is weird. So remember how we were saying, yeah, you take your Litwick on first turn and you hit, and then you uh, next turn you put another on and involve into Lampant? Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of a shitty tactic, apparently, because mm -hmm. at least with this printing of Chandelure, um, this guy... You just yeah, you... leave on your bench until you have them evolved and you use some other dick. And then when that uh -huh. one dies or something, you switch into Chandelier. Mm. Which are is... there other forms of Chandelier? Yeah, there are other printings of okay, them. Okay, because this one isn't the best as uh, as like a gradual kind of build-up no. while you're keeping them in play. Yeah. Not the best for This that. isn't more of a finisher. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Because it's easy to build up. Yeah. Which is nice, though, but if, like... And you can build him pretty easy if you have, like... Because you can get an Arcanine out turn two. Mm -hmm. Which means... And and then you can be crunching and then heat blasting for 70. Mm -hmm. And he's got 120 HP. So, I mean, he can take some hits. Mm -hmm. As a stage one. Yeah. A very decent amount of HP. So, you can... I mean, if you had, if you send out an Arcanine, you should be able to get that Chandelure set up if you yeah. use your trainer cards yeah. well. Um... And I'm not quite sure how many good trainer cards I have in this deck. Because, let's are you, look. Are you restricting to this deck? Uh, I'm going to play a couple games with this deck. See, where, this it's see, okay. see where its strengths and weaknesses are before I do any changes. Alright. I mean, I'll, I'm will i going to do like 10 records and win percentage and stuff. I'll probably record a couple of them, not all of them. That would mm -hmm. get hella boring. Mm -hmm. Uh, energy search, so that finds you energy, that's good with guys who are discarding energy, like Chandelure, uh, and Rushy. Mm -hmm. That's basically the only thing that's good for. Um. God. This is so dumb. It's like impossible to zoom in on, uh, Pokemon Communication, yeah. Pokemon Communication, I can find any Pokemon I need at any time ever, mm -hmm. as long as I have someone in my hand I'm willing to shuffle back into the deck. Mm -hmm. So... He's that that's that's good for finding yeah. things. Yeah, it's also an item. Yes. Which is cool because I mean concerned. it does require discarding a Pokemon or shuffling it into your deck, but that's fine. Um Potions or potions. Draw three cards. I mean that'll help mm -hmm. when I have it. And mm -hmm. I don't have that many other supporters in this deck, so it's not like a crisis there. Mm -hmm. Um it's Persian, I could just Nasty plot. Find any card I want. <laughs> Indeed, because that's he's not really. He's not very useful as as anything. He's as not as a combat. He's not goes. for combat. Mm -mm. No, he does have a decent amount of help. Yeah, ni but, well, ninety is not, not that much. good, but not very much. There's basics that go as high as ninety. Yeah, but none of those basics have evolutions. Those are all like 
pretty pretty solid basics. I mean, it's not it's not that bad. It's pretty bad health. It's really really not so good. That's fine. If he if I'm if I just throw him out and he lives like two turns, it's two cards in my deck. It is. It's two cards. And but you're also giving them a prize card. And that's true. That one step closer to winning. But I mean, desperate if you, situations. If you get a setup, it works. Um, mm. or if like, if you get them, um, in the crapper, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you knock out their champ and they're trying to set someone up, you can set up pretty well. And it has one energy retreat cost, well, so you can good. find what you need and get him out pretty quick. Yeah. So and he's just your go-to guy when you're out of shit to play. Exactly. So that's not that bad. No. Um, Salon is basically energy search except times three, but a supporter. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's again good for Chandler and Rushy and people who make you discard. Um, so, eh, it works. Heavy Ball. Heavy Ball's a good search card. Um, any Pokemon with tree cost three or more. So, not Chandler. Um, Bear Tick, I can find a Bear Tick. Or a Cub Chew. Cub Chew has a lot of retreat for no, a basic. I am, doing, I am wondering what that Cub chews on. It doesn't. It, it doesn't oh, chew. It's a, see, it does. It, it is probably do you see, teething. Do you see the bubble? It is. What That's is coming that? from its nose. It's like, it's a play on words of a chew. Mm. It's oh. a sneezy bear. Oh. I was going to say, I mean, I don't see any teeth. So it's probably teething at this point. Because. And, and chewing on something. You, you Like, you sneeze when you have a cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a play on a cold, and then he a cold bear. Yeah, uh, yeah. But bears don't get cold, and then because he... they're bears and they have furs. But the... and then he turns into bear tick, which is a play on Who arctic. Does I think have... I'm not sure. Well, you know, he looks kind of like a spider, and you know, there's a tick at the end. Like he could be some kind of an insect bear. I don't think so, but it's up to you, I guess. All right, all right. So, but I can I can find either of them, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, Vanillish and Vanillite. Eventually, I'll probably end up taking them out of the deck if I don't end up you with know. a Vanillux. But well, I don't. Is Vanillux a real a real thing? Yeah, it's the one that's like has two faces and it has a triple scoop of ice cream because that's what real I'm men have when they go, go to the ice cream bar here. And say that Vanillux is probably all all of those are probably a play on vanilla. Yeah, I, I believe so. Commonly used in, in I think games. so. Um, I can't find Basculin with it. Or Reshiram, really. That's weird. If you you have two of him, I've, I've noticed. Yes. There's quite a few. The deck comes with two Reshiram. It's a, it's a couple. It, I can find Darumaka if I ever really want to find him. But you don't have his evolved form. Exactly. Whatsoever. So he's pretty much worthless. Same with him, right? Yes. But Arcanine I can find. Mm. And that's good. Mm -hmm. I can't find Growlithe. Why not? Because he only has two retreat costs. I, c I can find him with other cards, like Peacom or something, okay. but not okay. with Heavy Ball. Okay. And that's all the Pokemon. Um, but... So yeah, if we look at foils... Chandelier foil. Weird. When you get the printing... Like, if you get... I The code comes with the print version of the deck, in which Chandelier is non-foil, and it's the only way to get a non-foil of that printing of Chandelier. And it also comes with a foil of this printing of Reshiram. Mm. Which is the only way to get a foil of this printing of Reshiram. Although, I mean, there are already... There was um, Black and White, which is the first set in the Black and White block. And it had this the same Reshiram, just different art. Okay. And that was foil. And there was also full art of that, Ooh, which was foil. Yeah, I have that full art Tornadus. Tornadus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's cool. Mm -hmm. I have that online too so that's online fun. as well online as well as real life i also have a regular non full hour online but i don't have that in real life unfortunately um so these are the rares five rares that's pretty good i guess um save to deck box you uh well yeah. i will i'll save over water fire four well you know that deck box isn't as cool as the chest one yeah i know uh, so... Why don't you just want to change it over on the, on the left there? I will. Explosive Edge. Because that's the name of the deck, if none of you knew that. So let's find a cool red and blue one, I guess? Or a smiley face. That was cool, too. Yeah, that one was Zebra Striped, implying that you probably made it in SolidWorks. Yeah, that was... I'm sure that was a reference all of you understood. Yes. I'm sure some of you did, for sure, but... I'm sure not all of you. Not quite. Now, if you're if you're wondering, 
SolidWorks is a computer program that lets you make solid. Ah, now you're giving away the end. Ultra Ball, Master Ball, Black, White. What happened? To, I want a Great Ball. Why can't I do a Great Ball? No one gives a shit about Great Balls. Shut up. Wait, Grape Balls? Yeah. Did you know there's a soda called Tentacle Grape? Tentacle Grape. Tentacle Grape. Is that a real soda? Yes. Do they sell it in places? Uh, probably. Like, like places that are legal? Probably. And not in Japan? Maybe a couple? Maybe a couple in Japan? Maybe. There's definitely in Japan. Um, so do you know what we're gonna do now? I just went through, like, everything and didn't find any especially random, awesome. Random, yep. random. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six. Oh. Okay. Let's go to eight. It's my favorite number. Seven, eight. Ah, oh, look at that. It's a little cat thing. It's, it's a person. It looks kind of like a cat. You look kind of like a cat. I... I would disagree, but that's the one you're gonna use. I'm just gonna drag your cursor over there. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. explosive egg. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you did open a pack.